another album review. Today we'll be going over Chris Stapleton's Traveler. Chris Stapleton is formerly of the Steel Drivers, which is where I first heard him on their uh, debut record, which was amazing to me, you know. Um, some of the songs on that record were very poignant in the bluegrass area. That album probably came out five or six years ago. It's been a, quite a bit of time since Chris Stapleton came out till now. Um, he's a singer-songwriter. He's played on, or written, I shouldn't say played on, he's written um, quite a few number one country hits um, and even written, I mean, I, I think somebody was saying that his back catalog is like 500 songs and he, some songs haven't even been released. Matter of fact, Traveler is nine songs, I believe, that him and his wife literally sat down a whole year <clears throat> and went through his back catalog of songs that haven't been on anything and chose the best nine for this record um, that they thought the best nine. That's just amazing. That's like a modern day Bob Dylan. Oh, well, we could release an album a year for forever and a day. He's got hundreds of hundreds of boxes of just lyrics. You know, I think that that in itself is really amazing for Chris Stapleton. I love them with the Steel Drivers. It, that was definitely one of the best releases of the year. And I was kind of a little sad when he left. But I think, you know, now listening to Traveler, it's definitely for the best. You know, he's got such a dynamic voice. And on Traveler, it really comes full circle into a more R&B style country singing, especially with um, some of the tracks. You know, I watched him on... Um, the CMAs with Justin Timberlake and it, it was kind of like a magical experience you know there's it's not very often that you see this big husky man you know singing with such a, a soulful crooning voice and and totally be on par with the Justin Timberlake you know I mean the, the gruffness in his voice is just a, enough to melt you you know it's, it's quite amazing Moving on to the actual album, Chris Stapleton, you know, I mean, especially if you listen to Steel Drivers, has always had this pension for songwriting and writing these amazing lyrics and very, very, very catchy choruses. And on Traveler, it really shines through the fact that every single chorus is catchy. You know, he has a song on there called Parachute, which kind of lends itself more to a uh, bluegrassy kind of upbeat kind of song. But it just sticks with you um, so well um, to the fact that it's it's like, where has this kind of country music been for like the last 20 years, you know? And it, it, there's no Southern rock kind of influences. There's no rappy kind of influences, you know? He kind of lends himself to a, a Jamie Johnson kind of aesthetic where it's you know i'm making country music that's what i am making it's gonna sound like country music i mean hopefully at some point he doesn't feel as though you know he can't go into the more southern rock kind of territory but there's a difference between you know maybe like a hank williams kind of southern rock where it only adds to the country aesthetic as opposed to you know like modern uh, country music where it's like this isn't even country music you know and I think Chris Davidson really um, makes the point that those that kind that kind of country sound can still sell you a lot of records and can still make you a very um, big force in country music. Um, nine songs to on this record point to the fact that um, Chris Stapleton is really great guitar player in himself too which I you know there's a lot of great country guitar players out there you know uh, obviously Brad Paisley and Keith Urban are, are very good guitar players they're very good at their craft but Chris Stapleton kind of takes this more Waylon Jennings kind of approach to the guitar playing where it's it, it it's so good but it adds to a song you know and I think a lot of you know, country artists, you know, they they don't really play in that sort of way where, you know, especially with the passing of Merle Haggard and, you know, Waylon Jennings, that 
they played an electric guitar and they soloed, but it added to a song. It wasn't just, you know, like wankery on, on a guitar. And, and I can't tell you how much that, you know, the wankery really kind of is a big turnoff for me, you know? I mean, even though I love listening to Brad Paisley, um, especially when he really goes all out on the guitar, but I think there's a time and a place for that. And definitely with um, this album, it's everything has its time and place. As far as the lyrics go, um, it always seems that Mr. Stapleton has had a uh, different life than most, you know? Um, he makes these poignant lyrics about love and loss very earnestly, but it seems as though maybe, and I don't, I wish that on the record itself it would have told you what years these lyrics were written. Um, that way you kind of would have had a sense of where he was at at the time, but his wife um, actually sings on this record. She's got a beautiful voice, and apparently they sing together quite often. Um, and it seems like a lot of songs kind of deal with the fact that, you know, Chris had found love and things are so much different now than they were before. Um, especially, you know, a lot, I, I, I'm assuming maybe he was a big drinker at some point, you know, that seems to be a pretty fair assumption, even though that's on like every country song out there, you know, that at one point somebody was drinking, but he takes a different spin on it. You know, he really paints these pictures of, of, you know, him being really down, you know, at some bar room somewhere and out of nowhere, he just found the love of his life. I mean, if nowadays you could hear a country artist sing about that and still feel something about it and still be, you know, touched by those kind of lyrics, you know, especially, and I don't know whether it's just an amalgamation of everything that Chris Stapleton does um, as far as, you know, his voice and the guitar playing and the songwriting. I think uh, as, far, as far as an overall package, he's really one of the best country artists out there right now. Now, there's a, there's a slew of them out there that, you know, probably haven't heard on the radio, but as far as him making it to the top of the radio, it's, it's quite amazing, so... Please check out Traveler if you're wanting to get into some more of the more modern country territory with that old time kind of spin. He really pulls it off very, very well. Um, as always, we thank you so much for watching our videos. Please leave a comment in the comment box below, and we hope to hear from you all soon. Bye.